uh, Canada was monitoring 31, 000, sorry, 31 million phones during COVID. And they were tr using uh, cell towers as uh, a way to track where people were going. So yeah. you can't get away from that. If you have a SIM card that's active, like it's always going to be. It's, it is funny too that, uh, I mean, you know this better than me, but Google cracking down now on de-Googling, right? They're making it more and more difficult to sideload operating systems on their newer devices. I think the Pixel 10 series, it's more or less not doable, at least at the moment. I thought they... Um, they'd backtracked on that, but I don't think it really matters in the end. Mm. Like if you're getting those phones, you're, you're getting it for the, the option for putting on Graphene OS or some other de Google stuff, mm -hmm. which basically makes it, you know, gives you the ability to prevent them from tracking some of your information. But like I said, not all, right? Like if you have a SIM card, but that's not the story we're talking about. We're talking about budget phones, these Galaxy A's and M's. And to be perfectly honest, I've never heard of these. I've heard of the, the Galaxy Samsung uh, like the S22 and like, you know, the right. S series and stuff. Yeah. That's the stuff that I hear about, but these A&Ms, I don't know. But anyways, these low dollar phones, these budget phones, they were installed with software, which you cannot remove and it behaves like spyware. And a lot of phones out there come with bloatware, right? This is just pretty much par for the course, but this particular one goes the extra mile and the application known <laughs> as App yeah, I, gotta, I gotta stop you. Sometimes you just land on the funny bone for me there. This is great. Some, this spyware goes the extra mile. <laughs> they do. Are you a spokesperson for the spyware company? <laughs> no, but it, it is the, the honest truth, right? They take this uh, an extra notch or two.